What's the motherfucking deal, man? Welcome to the Den. I am your host, Ed Honcho. Thank you for joining me today. Make sure you tune in live every night, 10 p.m. Central to midnight, as we discuss the topics of the day, whatever's going on in the world that day. Live, you can call into the Den line and share your thoughts. Um, we're going to get to talking about CNN, and apparently they've had a ratings drop. I'm going to tell you, again, if y'all have been here around for a while, you know, I don't give a fuck about CNN or Fox News. Or like I said, I feel like I'm independent minded. I don't really give a shit. They all selling you bullshit. But I'm going to tell you why I think what's happening is happening. And we're going to discuss, you know, what's going to change, if anything is going to change, and, and what that has on the impact of the future and the elections and shit like that. But again, I'm your host, Ed Honcho. If you want to follow me on social media, Ed Honcho HTX on Instagram and Twitter. If you want to follow the den, you can go to at den show live on Instagram and Twitter. And make sure you tune in, like I said, live every night, 10 p.m. to midnight. We take live calls, we discuss these things. Um, but let's get into it, man. Let's 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 get into the conversation. So, CNN. This is according to the Hill. <clears throat> CNN sees ratings swoon in April. In April. April. <laughs> April. I'm gonna learn this English. Shit. I'm getting good at it, right? Um, CNN sees ratings swoon in April. So, if you don't know what swoon is, basically, it says like a faint, but it's a drop. So, you know. Um, CNN primetime ratings have dropped a whopping 26% in April compared to last year, according to Nielsen Media Research. MSNBC's ratings were down 14% in April 2019 compared to April 2018, while Fox News' ratings were overall flat, or overall were flat. Um, it said marked its lowest rating month in totals uh, for viewers since 2015. Uh, 25 to 54 year old demographic that advertisers covered most. It was the, na- <clears throat> it was the network's least watched month since August 2015. In primetime, Fox News finished first with an average of 2.4 million. In April 2018, the network also averaged 2.4 million, according to Nielsen. MSNBC was second with uh, 1.66, down from 1.93 in 2018. Like I said, we're just going to skim through this. CNN was third with an average of 767,000 down from 1.4 million in 2018. That's terrible, that's, that's a significant drop. The 25 to 54 uh, demographic, all three networks saw a decline. Fox News delivered uh, 389,000, followed by uh, MSNBC's 255,000 and then CNN's 180, 100, I'm sorry, 198,000 viewers in that category. That's compared to 483, 398, and uh, 336 for Fox, MSNBC, and CNN, respectively, in 2018. Top five cable news shows with Fox is Hannity with an average of 3 million viewers, we'll say that. Tucker Carlson and Knight with an average of 2.8. Uh, MSNBC's Rachel Maddow was third with 2.6, followed by Fox's Ingram, Ingraham Angle, uh, 2.4, and The Five with 2.4 million. Around the other top five, CNN's highest rated show was the Chris Como primetime, which averaged about 917,000 viewers, finishing 26 overall in total viewers among cable news networks. So let me let me tell you what's going on with, with CNN and why these things are dropping and, and what it has to do with America right now. And see, first you guys are wondering, well, how, did, how did Trump get elected? Well, that tells you right there. All right. These news networks are... Depending on it, doesn't matter what side you're they're all pushing propaganda. You know what I'm saying? They're all going to cater to the demographic. They're all going to say the shit that their base wants to hear. That's how it works. It's all about money. It's all about advertising dollars. It's all about um, selling people what they want to sell. It's not really about news. Everybody skews the angles. Everybody does that. It is what it is. You know, you got to get the information on your own as much as you can get uh, and use your own mind to figure these things out. But most people don't want to do that. Most people want to be told. Most people want to be. They want to have their beliefs stroked and, and, and reinforced by somebody they view as some kind of expert. When we all know that these people are paid to sell you bullshit that they don't even really believe it on all networks, from MSNBC to CNN to Fox News, all of them. So, you know, miss me with the, oh, well, this network is just, there's no fair and balanced on any of them. They're, they're all skewed. It is what it is. The den is where you get your balanced news from. Plug, make sure you like and subscribe. But seriously, what this says is, and again, I don't have any personal preference. I don't care about any politicians. They're all trash. But this shows where people are getting their information from. I think you have more of the, uh, I'm assuming, either the, the liberal viewers who are you know, more CNN, more MSNBC, are going to either the internet for their news or they're just stopping, they, they, they're no longer watching news, they're no longer about blindly following any one particular network. Um, with Fox really being your only right-wing source, you know, they're gonna have a more, contra, uh, more concentrated base. But 
what this means is that certain information is going to get pushed out to certain people. And again, you hear the same talking points, no matter who you listen to. Everybody has fucking talking points. They're all trash. Um, but this is solidifying that base because they're going to one particular source. But there's only a few particular sources and they're all going to the same source solidifying that base. What you have with the CNNs and these other things, especially with liberals and, and as, as a whole, especially with all this intersectionality, they, they're too much infighting. That's why in 2020, um, Trump will win again. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that I'm rooting for him, not that I'm rooting against him. I mean, just being independently just looking at it, let's look at the facts. He's going to win again because the left has too much infighting. Oh, we don't want a white guy to be uh, the representation. We want somebody who's less experienced, who's more than likely not going to get voted for. We want them to be the representation. Oh, we don't have this uh, race or we don't have this sex or we don't have this transgender or something represented. And so they're too much, they're too worried about the, the particulars and again, so you you have no solid uh, solidarity, no, no solid. I can't I can't talk today. All right, you have no solid foundation. Okay, and um, that's a problem. That's that's really a problem. And anyway, uh, that's why I say again, Trump will win in 2020 because right now, like I say, it is about it's basically election season now, right? And you don't have, you have what Bernie, you have uh, Biden and these guys. And again, so you have too many people on the left trying to find ways to undermine anybody who can represent their party if it's not the particular person they want. While on the right, you have them solidifying. And the networks know this. And they're, the, the, the liberal networks have to be, they're too busy trying to cater to everybody. And they're losing people because people don't want to hear certain bullshit. Um, but then what, you, what I say is, you know, you have a lot of people going to the Internet. And I don't know how they're applying those ratings. You see a lot of people watching the shit on YouTube like you're watching this or whatever else it may be. So, uh, again, it's very interesting to see this, but I think it's a, a, a state of current society. I think people also a, a very big point that I have to address is these liberal networks have spent the last two years basically talking about the same shit. Collusion, collusion, collusion. You know, obstruction, 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 Mueller report, you know, this, and they're still just trying to push in there. They're not talking about the issues that people are really facing, that people really want to hear about. All they have is anti-Trump stuff. And again, it's, it's not, I think people are getting tired of it. And I think people are getting, they're, they're starting to see that this is all they have to talk about, which means they really have no merit to stand on. They were hoping that this Mueller report was just going to undermine Trump and then get him impeached and then they would just automatically get elected where everybody will see the, the Republicans are bad and a Democrat will get elected, you know, for, for president. That's what they were hoping on. That's what they were counting for. But unfortunately, the report has come out. Um, I know a lot of shit has been redacted. We'll see what happens with all that. I know Barr, they're, they're trying to get him, I think, to testify for Congress or something like that. I don't, I haven't really kept up with that. But again, people are tired of hearing that and they want to hear about the issues that concern them. And right now, none of these networks are talking about that. So they're going to other sources. They're going to, like I say, you know, with the they're going to sources that cater to their particular belief, whether it be about, you know, racial issues, about some type of sexual orientation based issue, or whatever the fuck it is. And they're going to go to these sources that that give them that kind of news because CNN, MSNBC, all they're talking about is, you know, Trump this, Trump that, Trump this, Trump, that. and then that's why Trump derangement syndrome is a real thing. Like I see people. All day long, all they have they, they do is post about Donald fucking Trump. Like, I don't give a shit about the dude, honestly. Like, I'm not a Trump supporter. Uh, he's done some good things. I'm not a blind follower. I'm not MAGA hatting, you know. He's done some good shit, and there's some shit I've questioned that he's done. Um, just like you should with anybody. I'm not, I've never been a blind follower, so, you know, if you choose to, that's your right. But, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm open to criticizing anybody if they're not doing a good job, especially if supposed to be the leader of the free world. Um, but that's the problem. All these channels have to do is talk about Trump. And then when this, this news comes out, it's underwhelming. You know, this guy's going to jail. This, this Republican is going to, this is going to happen. And a couple of pieces did fall, but again, nothing tied necessarily to Trump himself. Um, people have become disinterested because you, you've been selling us the same shit for two or three years now. And I watch everybody. I'll, I'll watch MSNBC. I'll watch CNN. I'll watch uh, Fox from time to time just to hear the different sides because like I said, I want to know what everybody's thinking. I'm not, like I said, I'm not blindly uh, pledging my allegiance to anybody. Uh, I want to try to decipher the truth. Some people are going to speak on this part. Some people are going to speak on this part. And I'm going to try to put two and two together and see what makes sense. That's just my personal view. You know, uh, I don't like going to lie to you. And all of the networks are lying in some sense. So all I'm saying is this, man. 
if these networks want to bounce back, they better start finding something to talk about. They better start finding real issues. People are tired of hearing about Trump all day. You can see that on your Facebook, your Twitter feed, whatever. People are acting like this guy came in and just ruined their lives. And it's crazy because your life was, if your life is ruined now, it was probably shit for the most part before Trump got elected. And he's just a convenient scapegoat because the media is telling you that, oh, he's the bad guy. He's the reason why. You can take your life in your own fucking hands and, and figure it out. Because the way I feel, no presidential, no elected official, none of these people are going to impact the way I live. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make the decisions that are going to be best for me and my family. And, you know, uh, y'all let these, these media outlets, you know, infiltrate your mind and tell you what's really going on. I don't care if it's Obama. I don't care if it's Trump. I don't care who it is. You know, whatever side you're on, you let this, when your side's not winning or not uh, taking hold of office, you let these people tell you, oh, it's so bad, it's so terrible. And you, you fucking get indoctrinated by all this shit. There was a lot of you saying people who were defending Trump or were on the Obama train, and a lot of people who was on the pro-Obama train that are doing the same shit with Trump. And I'm just sitting there in the middle like, wow, this is a bunch of nonsense. If you guys focus more on yourself and, and you and your own, that America would be in a lot, uh, a much better place. But again, you're free to do whatever the fuck you want to. I'm just telling, I, I see that these networks are failing because people are tired of all this same shit, you know, uh, demonizing Trump for all these things that uh, are foolish, that really aren't impacting anybody in, that, in the way that they're trying to say it is. And so they're looking for any issue to try to make him look less than credible and, and undermine what he's doing. So again, feel free to do whatever you want to. CNN is taking the biggest L for it, and apparently MSNBC has fallen off too, while Fox is it's maintaining its base. I'm sure some new people have come over, and I think, I'm sure they've lost some people too. It's just, that's just kind of how it was, attrition and everything. But um, with that being said, hey, we'll be live 10 p.m. tonight. Again, live every night, 10 p.m. Central Time to Midnight. Hey, again, you know, uh, if you like the show, man, like, subscribe. We do this every night uh, live. You can call in with your own thoughts and opinions on whatever we spoke on today, and then we usually have a general topic uh, for the streams every night. But with that being said, hey, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank you for watching. Y'all be cool like y'all be cool. It's your boy Ed Hotso. Hey, man, they got to change it up if they want to come back up, but hey, it might be too late. Hey, I'm out.